All right, so let's do another fun example where a picture is helpful. So let's say that I want to swap these two references. And in this case, I do. I want the fountain of youth, you know. You run around like an 18-year-old at my age and like stuff starts breaking, but whatever. Um, okay, here we go. So I've got two references that I am storing. I'm you two reference variables, me and you, that I'm using to store references to two objects. So you'll see I created an object on line two. I see a call to a constructor, uh, the person constructor passing the age 42, and I see a call to the person constructor on line three, creating a younger person. Um, so let's say I want to swap these. Let's say I want me to refer to the person with age 18, and unfortunately, part of the bargain here is that you end up referring to the person with age 42, for just not a bad year, right? It's the, you know, uh, the meaning of life, some might say. The cat just came and joined me. Somehow she knows when I'm doing this, and she will come to to assist. You want to be on camera, little one? Oh, meow. All right, maybe not. Okay, so let's do this. Here's the problem. The problem is that in he Kotlin, an affiliate oh, of the University of Washington. All right, now she's turning the radio off. Apparently she wants to listen to this music. Okay, in Kotlin, when I lose, if I don't have a reference to an object, it's gone, right? Imagine that there's a house out there in the woods that nobody knows about. No one has an address to it. No one remembers it's there. It's just sitting there. Now, someone might stumble along it someday, right? So it's not a perfect analogy, but in the woods of Kotlin objects, once we have no reference to an object, it's gone, right? There's no way to get it back. And so I can't drop the reference to me, and I can't drop the reference to you. There's, there's no way to do that. If I, if I assign me to you, I've lost a reference to the person with age 42. If I assign you to me, I've lost a reference to the person with age 18. And so what I have to do is figure out a way to keep both during this transition. And the way that we do this, the trick, is to introduce a third variable. And you can assign the third variable to either me or you. It doesn't matter, right? And so now the idea is I have two references to me, okay? I've got temp and I've got me. I have two references to the person with age 42. And I have one reference to the person with age 18. And so what it allows me to do, because temp is holding on to this reference that I'm going to need in a minute, is then I can move the reference from me, uh, the reference stored in me, to refer to the person with age 18, right? So this is the dance that we do. Um, and then the last step is to take, to reassign the reference variable u to refer to the person with age 42. And the way I do that is I use temp, because temp is still holding a reference to the person with age 42, okay? Did you watch carefully? It's like a magic trick. Okay, let's do it again. Um, very disruptive tonight. Um, all right, I've got two references, me to a person with age 42, you to a person with age 18. I want to swap. I can't drop the reference of the person with age 42. If I do, it's gone. Same thing with the person with age 18. I have to make sure that at all times, I have at least one reference to these two objects. And if you think about it, you know, David Malin, you know, a, a, a friend of mine, you know, uses this analogy of like trying to pour, it's like two cups, trying to pour them into each other, right? It's like, I, I can't, you know, there's no room in this cup, there's no room in this cup. What do I need? I need a third vessel, right? So in this case, a third reference variable. Now, it doesn't matter which cup I pour in there first. <coughs> in this case, I'm going to use temp to store a reference to the person with age 42. So now I've got two references to the person with age 42. And what that means is that I can reassign me to refer to the person with age 18, right? The person with age 42 isn't gone because I still have a reference to them stored in temp. Um, and then what I do is I use temp. I can't use me anymore because me refers to the person with age 18. So how do I reassign you to refer to the person with age 42? I use temp. Right, and, and that's what allows me to finish this, this little dance. And then at the end, I can essentially get rid of the temporary variable. I called it temp for a reason. Um, I'm done with it because the swap has been complete. You are now 42. Enjoy.